Hi guys, hope you're all well. Welcome to my messy notebook. Um, today we're going to make a really lovely, um, like a four glazed ceramic look. Um, and I was putting some bits away um, yesterday from the past few things I've done. Uh, just some notes and things. And I just thought I'd sh actually show you what I do because um, it's re a really, I find it really useful um, you know if you're used to a diary or journaling um, with anything you do like I quite like art journaling it really comes in handy not only for kind of understanding how you've made something and remembering how you've made that thing but you can flick back through um, and it gives you inspiration for other things so I was flicking through this the other day, just browsing as you do, and um, I this is the pendant I made. It's probably is it probably about twelve months ago now. Uh, maybe maybe a little less than oh the dates at the bottom. Uh, December, so seven months ago I made this. Um, I'll leave a link. For you to go and have a look at if you so wish oh it's got a bit tangled yeah i just made this little pendant and it was um like a patinaed copper that we did uh, and i made some notes about it obviously so i was looking through the notes and i noticed i'd written try ceramic glaze on white put amber question mark I've also put an on another question mark saying use liquid clay um, so I just wanted to show you that if you just keep a little book with little sketches and things in it really helps sometimes especially if your mojo's a little bit off so I just wanted to show you that guys because some of you might find it useful um, yeah so anyway you've seen in the pictures already uh, and my inspiration what we're going to do so it's like a like a, an antique tile look um, like a ceramic tile so what you're going to need to make this is I'm using Cerny Opaline uh, you could actually use I suppose whatever colour you want but I would use a light colour for it to work uh, I'm using Opaline you could mix white with a bit of translucent with 50% translucent and get that same sort of look uh, but again entirely up to you guys I would just pick a, a light-ish colour um, for it you know to, to get the contrast so we just need some uh, clay you're going to need some alcohol ink you're also going to need now I'm going to use this female liquid gel and I did a test bit if I can find it I did a test bit using normal clear liquid clay and it didn't quite work because it didn't it wasn't translucent so I'm going to use some of this because I've not actually tried it and I thought I would but you could use um, some resin at the end and just tint your resin um, or tint your varnish with a tiny bit of alcohol ink and that should give you a, a similar effect because I'm probably still um, going to varnish it to get it really really shiny because I believe this is very clear but it's not very shiny but we'll see because I don't know <laughs> uh, right so you need some alcohol ink you need some of this gel or something similar uh, you're also going to need something to tint this with um, so I'm going to use um, alcohol ink and we also need um, something to uh, distress our piece make it look old so I'm going to use my pan pastels mainly because I've got them so I may as well use them 
and I've got burnt umber and yellow okra, okra, however you pronounce it. Uh, I don't think, I think black would be too harsh. Maybe a dark brown or a dark grey. Um, or even a, a, you know, a dark green. If you're using green uh, on the top, that is. But we just need something to um, distress it. So, you you know, you could try some watered down alcohol inks. Uh, lots of different colouring mediums out there. But we just need to um, make it look a bit distressed. So, anyway, I've babbled enough. I'll go and prep some of this. I'm just going to use this cutter. Um, just because it's super cute. And... Um, Oh, and you're going to need something to make your texture with. Now, you could use a texture stamp. Um, you could just free, free style it. I've got um, an A4 um, embossing folder here. And I'm just going to use the embossing folder to put my pattern on the clay with. Uh, like I said, guys, stencils, stamps, anything to just make a lovely pattern on the top of your clay it will work and I'll um, go and get that done and I'll see you in a min okay guys I've just got enough clay done uh, to I'm going to stack this so it's double uh, the size so I've just got enough uh, clay to um, cover my pendant just make sure there's not air trapped. I've already got grubby fingers on this. And I'll just trim this up a bit. Then I'm not wasting any bits that we don't need, if that makes sense. That's plenty. So we've got our clay and what we're going to do is um, sprinkle a little bit of uh, powder on to distress the surface. Um, so I'm just going to get, I'm going to use a fluffy brush initially um, and I'm just going to flick a little bit of pan pastels on. not too much and I'm just going to dot that and then brush it around I'll just get a tiny bit more of this green what I'm going to do what I'm doing is I'm thinking about the shape of my pendant and I'm just making a little bit darker along the edges of where the pendant will go I'll just put a few more sprinkles on I want it to look a bit crackled and a bit distressed not crackled but you get what I mean a few little speckles and the such just to make the clay look aged and I'll just buff that in. Oh, I've got a hair. Get off. I'll just buff that in just to make sure there's nothing loose flying around. That'll do. Let me pop them to one side. And I will just grab a wet wipe, guys, and make sure there's no... Oh, another bit of... Oh, my brush is molting. If it's not uh, Doris, it's me. I'll just pick this up just make sure that there's no um, doodah on it no muck on the back I just go over where I've stuck my finger in that bit there we go okay 
so now we're going to push our pattern in and like I say I've got this huge A4 um, embossing folder I'm just going to decide which side I want to use uh, I think I'll use this side and I'll find a nice busy bit and I should have dusted it I suppose first didn't think of that I'm just gonna go around and press it with my fingers you can use your block I suppose if you want to put a bit of extra pressure on but my clay is quite soft you can see it's deforming um, while I'm pressing there we go so I've got a nice uh, pattern in that now just give me a finger wipe then I don't forget for future then what I'm going to do is just using a little bit of in fact should I get a tool no I'll use my finger just getting a little bit of pastel and dabbing it so it's um, not loose I'm just going to pick out some of these raised areas just a little bit just to give them a bit of definition And again, I'm just going to go in with my brush and make sure that there's no loose bits anywhere or bits of fluff. This flipping brush is falling to bits. So there we go. I've got kind of a brownie green. You can see another bit of air there. Come on. Got you. Um... a little bit more on that one um, yeah so it's just defined our pattern a little bit like I say not too much just enough that it picks it up on the edges clean my fingers okay so now we're going to cut out uh i've got get a piece of paper ready because what we're going to do is we're going to part bake this first um it'll help set the pastels um and it'll make it a bit easier to handle for the next step so let's pick out some nice busy bits on this Just giving it a tiny wiggle then I know it's gone through. I think that's gone through. Just pick that bit up. I'm just pulling my nail around that edge guys. I could just see a few little crumbs. Let's just make sure it's nice and tidy. I'm not too sure what that middle bit's going to look like till I pick it up. Let's get this picked up. Just popping that middle piece out. My clay is extremely soft, guys should have maybe leached it a little bit before I started I just get that back into shape I distorted it a little there we go let's sort that edge out Oh, 
and again guys I know I say it all the time but you know if it goes in really neat it comes out really neat doesn't it so I'll just grab a little smoothing tool and just sort that edge out there because I know from the last pendant I did that it's not the easiest spot to get in to sand so if I just make sure that it's smoothed out then I don't have to worry about it do I then there we go that looks pretty neat and tidy I'll just pop around this edge to make sure yep okay I'm going to pop this in the oven uh, and I'll probably just bake it for 10 minutes guys it doesn't have to be fully baked it's just um, it'll be a little bit easier to handle um, with, uh, with, it, with it being firm especially with my clay being so soft just smudge a bit of pastel into that little bit there right okay I'll go and pop this in the oven and I'll see you when it's uh, ready okay guys we're baked and you can see it just looks quite antique doesn't it the back's a bit of a mess to be fair guys but it's only a sample so I'm not gonna worry right I've got some of this female liquid gel I believe in good things about this guys you know just a few people talking in groups and stuff saying how lovely and clear it is as a glaze which is kind of what gives me the idea that this might kind of work for this technique so I've just got probably a teaspoonful maybe a little bit less and I just want a tiny drop of that oh let me soak that up before it mixes in don't want it too dark so I'll just soak that other drip up oh and I'm just gonna mix it in with my cocktail stick I should have warmed my tile up I think because it's gone quite thick okay so there's our it's kind of like a bottle green glaze that you might see on you know some old tiles um, I've put a picture I think in well I will have by the time you see it I'm just going to use a brush guys um, I've put a picture in uh, you know as an inspiration where I got the colour idea from for this uh, I'm just put brushing a thin coat on probably as thick as you would do a varnish I suppose guys you know or, you, or if you do what I do with the um, doodah with the um, do you know my brain today is terrible with the UV resin I'm just gonna put a thin coat on make sure everything's just got a nice coat and then once I know it's all got a nice coat on I'm just gonna pop a little bit more in areas so that it collects in the pattern I'm hoping this doesn't go uber runny when it's wet uh, when it's warm because of course I've no judge of how much to put on of her I think I'll just leave it at that 
I don't want to put too much on and it run um, but you can see the effect we've got now because we've used the alcohol ink where it's thicker you get like a darker look to the glaze don't you right I shall pop this on a scrap of paper and uh, get it in the oven and I'll um, so hopefully um, there's a reasonable amount of sheen on it but we may have to gloss it if not uh, as well um, but again you could do, you could just mix a bit of UV resin with some do that and set it that way guys I just wanted to have a go with this as a glaze so I'll go and pop this in and I'll uh, see you when we're done see you in a minute hi guys what out the oven look at the shine on that I really wasn't expecting that shine um, I was going to glaze it but I'm actually quite happy with that shine because it um, because it's not very even it does look like an old tile to be honest and uh, while that was um, doing its do I had a bit of a play with some scrap um, and I just rubbed different colours of green on the uh, impression didn't put any on first just rubbed my finger over the uh, raised areas with some darker green and I wish I'd gone a bit darker green on this one now I think it would have made it uh, look a bit more different but the premise behind it I really like uh, it does have that old tile look doesn't it uh, our old ceramic look um, like not super super glossy just that nice glaze on it and none ran off which is always a bonus so there we go guys I just dug this little brown uh, ribbon and cord thing out just to string it on something um, like I said I'll probably have another couple of goes at this um, and come up with something a bit more you know substantial uh, but for a little practice play I don't think it was too bad it's quite uh, ethnic -y looking as well isn't it it's quite springy summery right guys I'll leave it there I hope that was of use to you because like say follow the techniques and you know ramp it up a notch I'm just kind of show you the basics so that you can run away with stuff um, so yeah I'll probably have another play with this because uh, I really like how that's turned out there um, yeah I just like it maybe I need a bit of a busier stamp or something to do it with but anyway that's that <laughs> I'll see you all soon bye guys